and thanks for joining us once again on this show, Football Planet, where we are all about African football and beyond. My name is Victor Muisio. Coming up in today's show, we start off in East Africa, Kenya, where Gor Mahia have been crowned the 2018 Sport Pesa Premier League champions with six matches remaining, adding a record 17th league title to their name. Details coming up. Cameroonian international Henry Bedimo was dismissed by his French club Olympique Marseille on Thursday over serious misconduct. Marseille accused him of having built a sports academy in his hometown Douala in partnership with his former club Montpellier while still under contract. We've prepared a report on that. Over 40 freestylers from over 20 countries around the continent will be heading to Lagos, Nigeria this September for the maiden edition of the 2018 Africa Freestyle Football Championship, an event that aims to promote and develop freestyle football. We've got everything you need to know about that. This episode of Football Planet starts now. There are six match days left to the conclusion of Kenya's Port Pesa Premier League, but defending champions Gormahi have retained their title, which is a record 17th league title for Kogalo. Here's that report. Kenya's Gor Mahia on Saturday, in a spirited show, humiliated their bitter rival CFC Leopards to a 2 0 win to lift their 17th and precedented Sport Pesa Premier League title. Following the victory, Gor was crowned champions in front of their fierce rivals with six games to spare after opening an assailable 23 point gap at the summit. Earlier on, AFC fans are protested, accusing referee Felix Sekai of a poor officiating, but could not limit Gorma here from dominating the show during the match christened the Mashemeji Derby at the Kasurani Stadium in the capital, Nairobi. The match was marred by chaos after Leopards fans started approaching seats and throwing them onto the pitch after the referee failed to make a call on dangerous tackle in the build-up to the second goal. It was a perfect morale booster for Dylan Kerr's men ahead of Wednesday's CAF Confederations Cup crunch tie against USM Alger in Algeria, who also aged Tanzania Simba SC to win the regional Spot Pesa Super Cup in July. The Uganda Cubs beat Ethiopia 3-1 to qualify for the AFCON 2017 from the Sikafa zone. The victory means now the Uganda join Angola, who qualified from the south zone, Cameroon, who qualified from the central zone, and Tanzania, who will be hosting the tournament next year. The top four teams at the eight-team tournament will qualify for the FIFA Under-17 World Cup in Peru in October next year. March Day 6 and the last round of group stage matches in the CAF Champions League is this Tuesday, which will determine who advances to the quarter-finals. In Group A, Egypt's al Ahly SC and Tunisia's Esperance have already qualified. Congolese Giants TP Mazembe have already booked their slot in the quarters from Group B, where they sit at the summit with 11 points. Defending champions Widad Casablanca are through to the quarters from Group C, where 2016 champions and South Africa Premier League champion the Masandawana Mamelodi Sundowns risk elimination as they welcome Guinean side Oroya with a must beat to advance. In Group D, Etoal du Sahel are guaranteed a slot in the quarters. Angolan club Primero de Agosto will be battling to secure second spot with Mbambane Swallows of Swaziland, but their hopes will be pegged on Zesco United of Zambia losing against Tunisians Etoal du Sahel. Let's now take a look at the standings and fixtures in the other CAF competition, the CAF Confederations Cup, where the last leg of group stage matches will be played this Wednesday.
Action in the qualifiers to the AFCON 2019 in Cameroon resumes this weekend with plenty of exciting clashes to look forward to. Here are the matches that will be played this weekend, starting Friday. Like we mentioned earlier in the headlines, Cameroonian international Henry Bendimo was dismissed by his French club Olympique de Marseille on Thursday over serious misconduct. Marseille accused him of having built a sports academy in his hometown of Douala in partnership with his former club Montpellier while still under contract. Here's that report. Cameroonian international Henry Bedimo has described his dismissal from French club Olympique Marseille as unfair and abusive. Edimo made the comment in an interview with a French newspaper, L'Equipe, following his dismissal last Thursday. Marseille fired the winger over what the club termed as serious misconduct in reference to his training project in his home country. The winger said he was convinced the club wanted to terminate his contract by all means without paying any benefits. On its part, the French club told the same newspaper that they were totally stunned by this case because the club was never notified of the project, adding that they only learned about it through the media. Marseille justified the termination of Bedimo's contract by pointing out that the winger owed them loyalty and exclusivity, but instead established a training center in Cameroon with a competing club, Montpellier, while still on contract until 2019. Bedimo had appeared only three times in a Marseille jersey last season after failing to fit in coach Rudy Garcia's plans. The Cameroonian winger says the project goes back several years in 2012 while he was still playing at Montpellier. He joined Marseille in 2016. Murum Devin, a sports journalist from Cameroon, is on the line to talk about this. Hello, Devin. Thanks for staying on the line. Now, Bedimo says that Marseille's claims and basis for terminating his contract are unfounded. What are your comments on that? Bedimo has explained clearly that uh, this contract he had is what didn't start during his term of uh, service with Olympique Marseille. What I can say concerning that is the fact that Marseille is being unfair with Bedimo. This project which Bedimo is following up is to help develop African football. I think it is something which on Marseille's part they were supposed to applaud it and to be happy for it. Marseille, uh, Bedimo has a general manager who manages his academy in Cameroon. This manager could also enter into contact with Gengam or any other uh, uh, club in France to have a partnership. So I don't see why they have been pointing Bedimo. So to me, in a nutshell, as he's saying, Marseille wants to terminate his contract without paying any benefit, and they are holding on that, which to me, really, it is unfounded. Well, what I would like to add is the fact that uh, I would like other African players to take examples from uh, those who have been trying to develop football in Africa. We have Kanu, we have uh, Okocha, uh, we have many of them. If Cameroonians are entering into it, Bedimo, Etofis, all those who are entering into it, having academies all around in Africa, I will encourage other African players playing in Europe to follow the same example in order that we can develop our own African football and always see African teams at all times going past the first stage of the World Cup. It is simply because our football is not developed. That is why we can't go past the first stage of the World Cup. But when we develop our own football, we are going to see that our countries are going to go past the first stage of the World Cup at all times. Thank you, Devine, for stopping by. That was Murum Devine, a sports journalist, speaking to us from Yaounde, Cameroon. Over 40 freestylers from 20 countries around the continent will be heading to Lagos, Nigeria, this September for the maiden edition of the 2018 Africa Freestyle Football Championship, an event that aims to promote and develop freestyle football. Check this out. Over 20 participants will be taking part in the 2018 Africa Freestyle Football Championship, which will be held in Lagos, Nigeria. The three-day championship will take place from September 13th to 15th 
and will be the maiden tournament that will help support the development of freestyle football on the continent. After the successful hosting of the Nigerian Championship last year, the chairperson of the organization, Valentin Ozigbo, said the competition actually gave birth to the African Championships. The tournament is currently open to both male and female freestylers of African descent. The final event will also host international freestyle professionals, Guinness World Code record holder Aya Traoré and female freestyler Raquel Benetti from Brazil. It's often said disability is not inability and football is a game to be enjoyed by all. A group of soccer players have set up the first team in Egypt for people with cerebral palsy with the hopes of reaching international competitive stages. Cerebral palsy football is officially present in more than 60 countries around the world. Check out the following story by Ignatius Anor and Armel Nga. This field brings together people with cerebral palsy to play football with the hope of reaching global competitive stages. It is Egypt's first football team set up by Abdullah Assam, who is affected by cerebral palsy himself, to fight stigma preventing athletes with disabilities in Egypt from chasing their goals. We hope that all people hear about us, and I wish that people with disabilities or those afflicted with cerebral palsy join us, so that we would have a bigger base to communicate with officials, to create a federation and league here in Egypt. Young men with cerebral palsy rushed to join the team to play free. I started playing football a long time ago. But in this team, I have found myself playing with full freedom. While playing with able-bodied friends, there were people who were saying that they need to be careful around me. When playing with my friends here, I do not feel like this at all, and I feel that there's freedom. You are equal, and there are no psychological pressures. The team has called on government officials to come watch them play. They hope to start a league in Egypt where all individuals with motor impairment could join. The first international cerebral palsy football competition was held in Scotland in 1978. That does it for this week. I'll see you again on Monday, same time, same place. Remember, you can find this show and more sports news on our website, www.africanews.com sport. I'm Victor Muisio. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.